Hello, Nanagir. Welcome back to Grim Dawn. We have arrived at Fort Icon yet again. We have. Uh, last time we went into the tombs of Arken Bartholom. Now we're uh, moving onwards to the second stage of Fort Icon. And we're gonna conquer it, make it all our own. Well, not technically our own. I think the Black Legion will kind of want to take up residence there. But no, we're just imagining they are uh, servants and then everything's gonna be good. It's gonna be ours and our servants will uh, take care of it. Because of course we are the heroes of the story and a hero needs servants. And no, these uh, ethereal stay, they could have sufficed, but rather than becoming our loyal servants, they just chose to be uh, hostile. And if you can't work with them, then you know, we fire them. Ladder, literally, or we freeze them, or we bombard them with meteors, whatever works. So, we are making pretty good progress. So I think we have to uh, defend the portal. It's gonna be uh... ah, there are even two Black Legion people already here. Yeah? Okay, another wave. Oi, are you actually trying to damage me? Okay, there seem to be more from this. Hey, Clouderis, the Rhymeheart. I think I saw you on the way here as well. Is that uh, the trick of uh, being immortal? It's a pretty useful trick. Jewel of the Royal Crown. Ah, that's uh, a ring. Oh, part of the. Royal set and three pieces get you plus one to all skills. And it gives you a bunch of health and resistances. I, I like this. I kind of do. So portal has been secured. That means our buddies are going to be up here. And we have a squishy door to speak with. Oh, and of course there are books here. Uh, just some, some Lord Ritz. Good, you've arrived. Things here are in worse shape than I thought. Betrayal, sabotage, call it what you will. We've been attacked from within. The Ethereals have gotten a hold of the commander. Precisely. Ah, yeah. The commander has been possessed and we have to uh, fix that. And while we're gonna go into the armory, we might as well look for supplies for, some supplies for this dude. It turns out there is a uh, storage in the back here. So let's put this here. This is a level 50 item, right? Yeah, so let's put it on the same level as other level 50 things. Oh, interesting. Already had this seal of the royal crown lined up. Turns out there is a jewel of the royal crown as well. So that, that's going to be good. Now all I need is the, the actual royal crown, I think. And then I can get some plus two skills. Um... Let's see, do we have a vendor here? We have a vendor down there. So. Lightning damage, ether damage, elemental damage, defensive ability, energy regen. I like this. We need level 50 though. So let's uh, put it in the middle tab. Now we can't forget it. Iskandar's elemental exchange and a bunch of other stuff. Don't really care. This is... I think there is less damage on this one, so we just drop that. This is just heavy armor, don't care. Mutant bludgeon. It's a lot of stuff we don't use. This one, lightning damage, ether damage, defensive ability, energy regen. Bunch of resists and plus two to reckless power. Is reckless power something we have? Sounds like something we should have. Do we have reckless power? It would be nice if there was like an annotation to show you what... Yeah, see, ah, this one. So, that's the counterpart to Star Pact. Star Pact just passively boosts all our damage. And gives us some frost. This one adds... Extra ether, fire, and burn damage, and this is more of a melee focus. Well, well, it's a lot of armor. So, 
might as well do something useful with it. Uh, so, like that. Okay, so we are all lined up and ready to go. Let's have a quick chat with some of the people outdoors. Training dummies, because of course this is a base, and a base needs training dummies. So, if I remember correctly, we just had to uh, follow this trail, and that will take us to the to the armory. Ooh, there's two epics in here. Corpse fire and something else that already exploded before we even got near. Those are the best. And we're getting quite some green drops. So the, the loot drops are improving. Speaking of improving, just want to get back quickly to the to the crucible. I've, uh, I've been playing a bit more and the other day I noticed that the devs had uh, issued a hotfix. Uh, a hotfix for uh, patch uh, 105. So that's a hotfix for the, the release patch. And they substantially increased the XP gain. And they also increased a little bit the, the drops you get. And apparently the uh, defensive towers are more powerful as well. So they're all things that basically I, I touched on and other people in the community have also touched on. That with the release version of the Crucible felt a little underwhelming. The devs have listened and they have adjusted things accordingly. So you get, get a little bit more XP. And better loot. I haven't done any substantial comparative analysis, so just relaying what the patch notes said, but things should be better. So if you just remember that it should be better, then you know your own uh, bias will just make you think that it actually is better, whether it's true or not. Because seeing and thinking is believing. Or believing is seeing, and then that's how it worked, I think. Okay. Hello, level 49. Also, dynamite. That doesn't drop all that often. So one more level. Number 15. That's the level where legendary items are equipable. Also, you get away from me. Yes, please. Thank you. So last level, I put some points in here. That's now maxed out. So we completely tapped off our, uh, our spirit. Spirit is elemental damage, it's energy, spirit is life. Well, it's not life, but spirit is really, really good for us. Uh, primary skills are completely maxed. Then now we could go for a star pact to just boost our damage. We have devastation, which is a skill we use in boss fights. So boosting that will just make it better in boss fights. Energy is still tricky, but we have been boosting it uh, for quite a bit with inner focus. So it might be time to just uh, max out the entire Panetti's line, see how that goes. Then we have the, the pass through uh, and ether damage. And then of course we got the stun and electrocute branch. And finally we got more fragments and more ether damage. Um, Mirror of Eriocktis. Putting points in it reduces the skill recharge. So we have a panic button that works more often. I think that might even be nicer. Since we're still having uh, mana issues, boosting our primary attack doesn't feel like a good idea, but boosting our survival skill is definitely a useful thing to do. So as you notice, there's a lot of options that this build currently, uh, currently has. And you know, if you were dual classing this, you would definitely have quite a bunch of options. The dual classing this with a shaman would be really nice. The shaman actually has the access to this, this aura that gives you high health and mana regen, which is pretty early on on the tree and is pretty potent. You can dual class with a night blade and you get the, the, the healing breath that also gets you extra movement speed and, and some, some extra Resistances, that's pretty darn potent. Ooh. Ew. Get away from me. If 
I believe the Demolitionist has quite some fire aligned stuff, but I haven't played enough Demolitionists to really know for sure if it would be a really good synergy or if it would be a weak synergy. So I can't really comment on that. And, and similarly for the, for the Soldier. I think the Soldier is very melee focused and likely not a good match. But I think the, the Soldier did have a, an interesting focus on offensive and defensive ability, which... Oh, that's the Legion Supplies. Uh, and offensive and defensive ability, they affect your chance to hit and also your, uh, your chance to get hit. So more defensive ability means you are less likely to get hit and therefore it's safer. Because if monsters don't hit you, they can't deal damage to you. And if they don't deal damage to you, you don't actually have to tank it and then you'll live longer. And living longer is good. Or so I continue to believe. Okay, there's mobs there. And it's not on the room and there's treasure there. So we have to look for the secret room. I remember this. This 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 rings a bell. Only thing is, it rings a bell, but I'm not quite sure where it's ringing from. I, I have that issue more often. It's like, yeah, this this feels familiar, but why? From where? There. See? No, it wasn't too far. And of course, we just throw in a single panetti, and it's like a frag grenade. It explodes and it hits a lot of mobs. It's not lethal, but it definitely hurts them a little bit. And if you just keep throwing them at some point, they stop moving. Okay. That was a nice little loot room. Okay. Onwards with the plan. So the boss here is a rather powerful ethereal. Definitely he's moved over a little bit to the to the corrupted side of things. I don't even think he's got a human form anymore. Where previous encounters with bosses do have a, a human form that after you defeat them turns into uh, a, the actual proper ethereal form. Here you just instantly start off against the ethereal. Which is, uh, oh, I guess it's a good reflection of the slow transition of, of, the, of the world. As you progress in the game, things get more dire and the enemies being less human over time is probably a reflection of, of that as well. Okay, Ooh, full room, lots of stuff to kill. And more dynamite, wow. Of course, this is an armory. I should have expected that. I shouldn't be surprised by that. That's maybe a better way to put it. I mean, being expected, uh, being uh, surprised by something means that you know it's it's something that that fits outside of what you think is logically consistent. While expecting something means you have knowledge beforehand that allows you to predict or anticipate that it's happening. In this case, now you would expect dynamite in a mining operation, but not necessarily in an armory. You would expect weapons uh, in an armory. And I think we are there. Or not? Yes, there. Iron gates. So let's put up a panic portal, just in case. Hello there. Commander Lucius, yeah, you have seen better days. So we put up a panic uh, skull, uh, skill here, just to tank him. Yeah, just keep ch uh, chucking uh, throws and sky shards at him. Oh, he, he hurts. Yo, here. He's not really keen on getting yeah, frozen. Yeah. Okay, so is our ether, uh, ether resist is only at 35. We definitely want more of that before we face the boss. Can't do that yet. Definitely want that. Oof. Wow. As I say, it's a it's a tough bugger. Definitely tougher than than before. So let's put up our buffs again. So I had a, a check, and I think this is now our sixth death. Yeah. 
I haven't really died. I, I've died more with other characters so far. So I'm slowly learning how not to die, but this 35% ether resistance is definitely the thing that uh, that's killing me right now. Well, on top of all the damage from, from mobs. Okay, let's pick up our flag here. That skill's not ready. Okay, and maybe I should take more of a hit and run approach rather than a uh, stand and fight. That skill's not ready. Okay, I right, see so he has similar skills to me. But my thinking usually is if I stand and fight, then the enemy will stand and fight, and then my targeted skills, uh, no. The, the meteor impact or the meteor storm, which are location focused, they'll actually hit the target. So what was that? Face card of perdition. Ah, that's a whole bunch of retaliation uh, damage, but it also requires a bunch of physique. It's uh, it's heavy armor rather than caster armor. So there's some, uh, some extra treasure room here. Never portal out, always check for treasure. And indeed, we get some stuff. And then people ought to be happy with this. So, for icon. Oh, we get out pretty close. Well, we can still. Oh, detonation. Yes, we have to use the explosives to open up a portal, don't we? Or to destroy the barricades. Yeah. So now we can move on. Yeah, we have cleared this barricade. Yes. Er, uh, That one looks reflective. But I think we got most of them. Yes. So, we run back. And then I think it's time to uh, make friends with the witch. The witch in the basement. Which witch? That witch. For the, the outcast faction, which uh, I think last time I I chose against them, Good get a down there. pretty we nice fight. A forward position at the necropolis immediately. We cannot okay, so I'll scout towards the necropolis. I'll do that. I can. Yes. Here is your stuff. We got some scrap, uh, scrap, and we got an extra bag. That's nice. We got four bags. There's one more bag that we can unlock, uh, and I think this is all just. Uh, the, l the, the lore of this bit is a bit weaker than other things, so I can ignore it. Um, that's a blue. Uh, for the rest, we'll just uh, sell the greens and then we have a chat with the witch and see what we can do there. So, what's this? Cold damage, elemental damage, some physique, some energy regen, some casting speed, and a little bit of cold resist, and then a chance based defensive thing, which is kind of meh. Some shields, which we can get rid of. A two-hander, we don't use two-hander. 16% damage reflected is pretty nice. If you're using two-handers, that is. Bleeding retaliation, extra bleeding dur dur duration. It's just pretty cool on a character that actually does a lot of bleeding. Uh, ring, some cold and acid damage. That's a weird combo. So cold resist, and again, there's retali retaliatory uh, chance to reduce an attacker's movement or attack speed. Yeah, I'm not convinced. Ether fire, emeralds, necklace. Fire damage, ether damage, we both do that. Offensive, health regen, and a little bit of energy. That's not quite bad. Not quite bad. Though I, I, I've i got the defy death amulet lined up uh, if we ever drop mavens. So I hope I can. Chance of life leads retaliation. This is pretty nice for uh, an alt character as well. So, we do that. Sword, elemental seal. That's not bad. Just uh, straight up elemental damage uh, um, that you inflict with the seal. Whatever other than that, not really nice. Plus three to uh, Iskandras. Would be nice if we had something that wasn't Iskandras, because we uh, don't use it. Iskandras is a, a melee, or at least it's a, a weapon based uh, enchantment. A lot of cold resist and elemental damage on there, though. See anything you like? But, yeah, sure. There. And yeah, just put that one in the back. So we have even more bags to fill with stuff. 
that we might not need right now, but in the future we might, or on other characters. So, do I have space still? Yeah, we have space. So, put it in here, put it in there. And then we chat with the witch. Hello there, Mr. Captain Reeve. Hello. You are not from the Legion. Perhaps there is something you could help me with. Something that I can't involve the troops with. So, what is it, you upstanding citizen of the Black Guard? With the recent ethereal attack, I cannot allow this deception to carry on any longer. Anasteria, the witch who was allowed to enter our fold, must be put down. The Inquisitor insists that she not be harmed, but the trust he has in her is misplaced. Commander Lucius was an honorable man and a dedicated soldier, up until he was possessed by the Ethereals. I refuse to believe that Anasteria's witchcraft was not involved in his corruption. As we are all under strict orders not to harm her, I need someone outside the Legion, such as yourself, to handle this for me. Will you enter the fort prison and deal with this wretched witch? Uh, that's not my problem. Or maybe I... Actually, I will deal with it and then we tell it to her. And rat him out. Hey, I'm a spellcaster. I am gonna side with the witch, definitely. And I believe we have already done a lot of the missions that she will give you. Hello there, Anasteria. My, what a curiosity you are. What's this? A human, and yet not. There's an aura about you, stranger, but I cannot sense the spirit. Tell me what fate has befallen you. Well, I was possessed by an ethereal, but it left me at the hangman's nose. What a marvel you are. They say that to become one with the ethereal, you must lose all that defines you. But it seems there's more to the mystery than rumor lets on. The ether holds many secrets, but few are held from me. There are those who fear such power. But that is not why you are here, no. Um, Captain Reeve wants you dead. I would act surprised, but the man's made it no secret that he despises me. He branded me a witch and called for my execution from the outset. Uh, so... What did you do? Did you strangle his cat? I have great talent for manipulating the ether, and I have dabbled in divination, which I suppose is where the superstitious soldiers draw their ire. Everybody claims to want to know the future, until they actually hear it. It's difficult to separate the bad from the good when so much pain awaits a mortal in their lifetime. Well, he blames you for uh, Lucius' possessions, that's true. I'm afraid that the blame lies solely in the one who did the possessing. Though a weak mind greatly facilitates the process, to be sure. I have nothing to do with the unfortunate commander's fall from grace. Um, why are you under the Commander Creed's protection? Or Inquisitor Creed even? The good Inquisitor considers my knowledge of the ether and the ability to foresee the ethereal's attacks to be of great value. Something many in the Legion have trouble grasping. Creed has personally requested that I be kept safe, so that what I know is not lost to some soldiers' wild accusations. Wait, so why should I trust you? I assure you, I came to the Legion with the full intent of helping them battle against the ethereal invasion. My information has already saved many lives, but Captain Reeve and the others refused to see it. Will you join them in condemning me for what I do as well? I will defy Reeve. Wonderful. Now that we've put this unpleasantness behind us, I was hoping you could hear me out. Nobody in the Legion will help me, but perhaps you will be more understanding. What's up? With all the commotion during the ethereal attack, I'm afraid that most of my personal stores were damaged or even destroyed. If I am to continue my work here, I must have another ancient heart blood of Caton, and tainted, tainted brain matter. They are pivotal to my research, but acquiring one on my own is simply out of the question for this old crone. Will you be so kind as to gather these materials for me? Well, got them here. Here, right here. Excellent. Wonderful. These should last me for some time. Say, have you ever heard the tale of the great beast, Beronath? Um, no, but I'd like to hear it. It's a legend as old as time. 
it seems, with countless retellings of different heroes and sometimes even different creatures. In each of them, a great hero tracks down a monster that's been tormenting local villagers. The hunt takes the hero 10 long years through forgotten lands and to far off shores, but it always ends atop a mountain where Berenath is impaled upon a spear of bone. The beast plummets from the peak and from its spilled blood were born the fiends and monsters we dread to this day. The details are muddled in folklore, folklore but one fact remains constant, Berenath once lived. To have a piece of such an ancient lineage could prove useful to my spell work. And I believe I know where one such spawn of Berenath dwells. The people of Burwich call it Kaliska, the Bone Hunter. It hunts within the area called the East Marsh, but makes its dwelling up in the crags. Track down this creature for me and slay it, then harvest one of its fangs and bring it to me. So this is when we went to the East Marsh, when we defeated it and grabbed the, the trophy. I already mentioned that it was linked directly to this quest. So we already have it. And we are now friendly with the outcasts. Another plus 1000 reputation. We slowly lose Black Legion reputation, but I think we still have enough reputation to uh, go around. The creature you felt must have, been, must have been quite formidable to be armed with such a fang. I thank you for this. Come back and speak with me once again in some time. So what's our current status? The Black Legion, we're still friendly. So we, we are losing reputation, but not fast enough. Uh, on the other hand, we have the outcasts. We're friendly with them. Currently, that should have given us a new quest. And at 3000 points we get another one. And by killing Ethereals and Catonians we gain reputation with these people. Uh, and a Black Legion killing outcasts. Interesting. So I think she's the only outcast, isn't she? Interesting. Well, another quest. Ah, my only friend in this accursed fort has returned. Perhaps you will aid an old crone in her search for answers. What do you need? It is believed by the Arcovians that, no, that the Arcovians had access to powerful divination magic. But the technique became lost when their civilization succumbed to the necromancer's curse. I believe that we could recover this practice with the right information. A tome known as the Archives of Fates Untold is in the possession of an Arcovian named the Shade of El Nadrin. You must enter the Steps of Torment in the Broken Hills, cross the ancient gates, and banish El Nadrin. Acquire its tome and bring it back to me. I can do that. I wonder if this requires me to go into the, the roguelike part of the dungeon, behind the, the skeleton key, so to say. So we have a quest that we have to do. But we did gain access to this uh, to this faction at the lowest tier. And it's all level 50 gear. It's all level 50 caster gear. We've got body armors that have plus two to some skill on it. This one even has ether resistance. And energy regen and e ether damage. Interesting. So this one doesn't have any resistances. This one would give 15 ether resist. That gets us to 50. That's pretty potent. Uh, anything else? Someone with a better offer? 20 ether resistance. I wonder and I get rewarded. Plus 2 to distortion is also relevant because that's the first upgrade for Panetti's. But that, that's potentially useful. Currently that's the the best one on offer. This one has also this one has worse energy regen and it uh, requires a lot of physique. So wait, what? Oh wow! Uh, the first two tiers don't actually unlock something. I need to be honored with them to actually get stuff. No. <sighs> so I think there might be some. Uh, some more questing in the future to uh, do something with these people. So also, outside of Fort Icon, which we just unlocked, is the Plains of Strife. 
in the planes of strife there is a portal. That portal will contain a uh, location where we can find the spirit of Mog Dragon in order to uh, help us clear this desecrated uh, shrine. I believe it's this one. Yeah, this is the desecrated shrine for the for the rovers. So once we clear this, we can go back to the shrine, claim the point there. And that's gonna help us get part of the empty throne to get us more ether resistance. The other one is chaos resistance, but that's actually gonna help us max out the chaos resist. So, so far, with the exception of the ether resistance, we are doing really fine. But you know, just shopping around for some gear will probably help us there. But for now, that's gonna be it. So I'm gonna thank you very much for watching. Next time, we're gonna do some other quest. I think we're gonna do the the Mog Dragon's legacy, or the Rawari legacy first, and then after that, probably go back for the Secrets of the Lost, just to uh, just to do it and, and and see how far we can push that quest line. So I'll see you again then. Bye bye.